A Space Oddity, a story about the life and evolution of mankind as a species and its intelligence. Beginning from primitive man to modern day and into the future. The human mind is very innovative and creative in inventing technologies. And throughout the course of our history, inventions have changed the world in one way or another. Until we have reached the digital age with artificial intelligence. Who programs the computers but us? Where does man get this ability to create? A higher power must be involved in this. The Bible speaks of the battle between good and evil. God, man, and the forces of darkness, or the devil. Man makes choices along the way, influenced by one thing or another, whether for good or evil. Throughout the age of mankind, certain advents or dispensations have occurred, as some would say which has evolved technological advances. So how do we get this artificial intelligence? Some look to the internet as being the networking interface that connects us all to the mother brain, so to speak, or the supercomputers. How do these supercomputers learn and detect human behaviors and tendencies, if not via big tech and social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, so on and so forth? We express ourselves on these platforms in one way or another, in varying degrees. Our thoughts, our attitudes, our daily actions, the way we live, what our views are on any given matter. We interface with the secret computers in this way. Our smartphones are always listening. Our laptop computers are always watching. Smart televisions. The smart home, the smart grid, smart meters, all interconnected in communication, all feeding all of our thoughts, all of our words, our current GPS locations into the supercomputer via the smart grid. Who was watching us? We all grasp and welcome AI in one way or another, as it makes our lives easier and more convenient. But many also caution the Trojan horses built within. Are the supercomputers already self-aware? Would we even be able to recognize an android if we ran into one by chance? Would we be able to tell the difference between a real person or a robot? Many warn of an AI takeover. Have we already acquiesced to it, subtly and incrementally, as we gradually become more conditioned to it? All this leads to an autonomous age. And what about the universe? We know we are not alone in the universe in this, at least in the sense of that there are other galaxies and stars and 
obviously planets here in our own solar system. Heck, even in the Bible, in Hebrews chapter 1, in the first uh, few verses, it actually says, uh, God, who in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, so, it's an interesting that the, the scripture would make mention that he made the worlds. So, there are other worlds besides planet Earth. Some speak of alien life on other planets. And even alien intervention here on the Earth as well. What is on the other side of the moon? What is NASA not telling us, if anything? Or was the moon landing all a big hoax? Did humans really evolve from apes? Or is the biblical account of creation to be relied upon? Will there one day be a Terminator-style war between man and machine? And if that is the case, how would we win? As depicted in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, who wins the chess match between the human mind and artificial intelligence, the supercomputer? And behind every computer is a computer programmer. So if there were to be a malfunction, who's to blame, the computer or the programmers? Or is it really the Trojan horse built within, setting a trap? How dependent are we on our devices? And as we continue interfacing with our social medias and devices, the supercomputers learn who we are and what we are as they know our next move in this game of chess. For Big Brother is always watching oh, and always listening. But who is watching the watchers. At any rate, those of you who have watched Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, let me know what you think. And, or if you've never seen it before, find a way to do so.